Oh, I saw another campfire, and that made me think, Jody, did you look at the uh, trailers for Elden Ring? I've seen a few trailers, yeah. It's super cool. Uh, is that one that you think you'd want to play? or I think so, yeah. Because for, for what it's worth... Uh, if we do, uh, Janelle's brother might play it with us. Be because fun. he has it been super excited about it. Oh, I have been. Like, I, I haven't read any of Martin's books, but I know, like, I mean, his record speaks for himself. He's a very well-accomplished author. And the fact that he was brought on to do the <laughs> story building <laughs> makes me think this is going to be amazing. So about that, like, Game of Thrones, uh, Song of Fire and Ice, or whatever, like, the whole uh, the television show, like, that's got some, you know, sex and nudity or whatever. But apparently the following series is just full-on medieval pornography. <laughs> Oh gosh! Like there's no Wait, there's action. A there's no series. Yeah. Uh, one of our friends started reading it because they were a fan. Oh. oh and got it. Okay. And she and she was just like, "Nah, it's just pornography." <laughs> yeah. That's what she told us, at least. Well, it's taking me to Jakob. Is Jakob the forest like he was the wrecking zone? <laughs> Jakob, you're like a quantum anomaly here. He has a bush. He is many things. Oh yeah, we're just in the ancient ruins. Oh, we are? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the next region has the Outrider's legacy. Oh, okay. My main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to explain that one. That's uh, just... A, it's... It's a freaking video. This guy's in his car. He's got like purple spiky hair, and I don't know. I I want to say jewel it's jewel encrusted teeth, like a like a, a jewel encrusted grill, but mm -hmm. in the form of shark teeth. Yeah. And all he says is just my main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody, and then he moves his jaw and just. <laughs> There's a there's a meme I saw that has that, and then when he laughs, it shows a chain chomp yeah. chomping. <laughs> Mitchell. <laughs> my, 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 oh my gosh! What is he doing to the lady, Joel? Joel, what is he doing? Was that Joel or Mike? That was Joel. That was the very okay. last episode Joel was it, in. It was? Yeah. I don't remember that. Dang. Cause, um, because Forrester and Frank hire Mike, and as and they're looking at him, and they're talking about the sh like offing him, but Gypsy overhears, and she thinks they're talking about Joel. So she's like, oh, we gotta get Joel off the ship. And she finds out about a, a transport hidden in a box of... I remember that, yeah. Yeah. And then the very next episode is the very, is Mike's very first episode, which is the brain that wouldn't die. <laughs> Wop, good episode. Bop, do, bop, no, 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 no. Bop, that's that's the undead. It is. Or the, uh, the the thing that wouldn't die. The brain that wouldn't die is the. Hey, look, she, she's <laughs> making the twenty, the ten. He's no one. No one... <laughs> he could go all the way. All the way. Hey, look, she's <laughs> making her own gravy. <laughs> You know, rule number one of exploring an alien planet, keep your helmet on. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear knew what he was talking about. Ow. I'm on fire! That's not good. Typically, no. Unless you're Rammstein. <laughs> hey look, something to harvest. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. <laughs> I will wreck your shit. I'm going to hit your, your butt. butt. Oh Level my 22. Wow, that's a... Blighted turret. Oh, that <laughs> that's a very powerful weapon on the ground. <laughs> the 
<laughs> That's funny. I've got a you know, I've got a sniper rifle called the Rising Tide and a shotgun called the Setting Sun. Nice. Nice. You can brighten their day and end it all in one swift motion. Yeah. Wait, did you just find Sarah's body? Yeah. Oh. Why? Oh, because I see that the up the quest is updated. Use the master key to reveal the secret in the Outrider's bunker. You know, um, what? this isn't a great pose to leave your alien guy in. Because, uh, come over here for a sec. See, not a good pose. <laughs> what? Who's not in a good pose? Oh. This alien guy. See, someone is ready for seppuku. Yeah, just kind of, you know, or for a uh, booth execution. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're be forced to shoot ourselves. <laughs> it's like a Mexican standoff, but we're all aimed at the same person. <laughs> Careful, or I'll shoot him, but for a different reason. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I don't care who you are. That's funny. Okay, so let's travel. Time to go. Let's prepare the truck and go to the quarry. We go to quarry for one last mission about Outrider Legacy, mission. something like that. Dippin' dots. See, I didn't go to a lot of Dippin' dots. <laughs> oh. The ice cream of the future. Da -da 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 -da. It's like no, oh. this will not catch on ever. <laughs> I love Dippin' Dots, but it it's not the ice cream of the future. <laughs> I mean, it'll probably be around in the future. I love how this one person pointed out that um, that, and I started noticing it at work as well. Like uh, the show Chopped. <laughs> they can't name brands. Mm -hmm. Like they don't have a licensing to name brands of things. So like one of the basket ingredients will be Oreos, but it's vanilla cream sandwich chocolate cookies. <laughs> it's like no Ted, those are Oreos. <laughs> and Dippin' Dots was an ingredient one time and it was just called teeny tiny ice cream spheres. <laughs> Teeny tiny <laughs> It's like yeah, no, it's totally not those are different by dots. only one company. <laughs> you know, I wonder, does Dippin' Dots actually have like distinct flavors, or is it all just color and you just sort of associate it with a flavor? No, there's distinct flavors. There were flavors. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I've only had it like once or twice. I specifically remember there was vanilla, there was chocolate, and then there was like uh, various berry flavor. I take issue with some of this techno babble here. Shortwave radio will go for extremely long ranges. Say what now? Say what now? Shortwave radio will go for extremely long range. Oh, like you can literally listen to shortwave radio from the other side of the planet. So hearing Eric kind of correct the techno babble stuff like that makes me think about that video he and I watched together. It was this forum discussion about weight loss surgery and it ended up derailing from the surgery to just weight loss and health in general. And in there you had some uh, health at every size advocates to say the oh to put boy. it nicely. Um, and they're talking about metabolism. They're talking about all these, how difficult it is to lose weight. And this guy in the back is like, look, there's one tried and true method that we know works for everybody, regardless of body type, regardless of whatever, and that's calories in, calories out. If you burn more calories than you consume, you will lose weight. And somebody says, that's just not true. And Eric's having a conniption. Whatever His eyes defending, are twitching. He's like, no, <laughs> that's physics. You can't break the laws of physics. <laughs> Oh, I would have paid money to see Eric's face. It, it was pretty funny. That's just not true. Yes, it is. <laughs> like, I get that there's confounding factors, but thermodynamics does not change. Oh, this is about. It was like that scene from The Incredibles. Like, math is math. <laughs> <laughs> math is math. Math is math. Dad, calm down. Just wait.
Oh boy, I cannot wait. This is all just a jack in the box. An elaborate, <laughs> just an elaborate <laughs> <Is> it... <laughs> jack in the box. I think I'm staring at a new. What? I wonder if Tanner's daughter was willing to give her life to keep that hatch closed. I think it might be very wise to close it again and throw away the key. Uh, Zahidi, something's happening. The machines, they're crashing. You need to get out of there before it explodes. Warning. Safety controls failing. Missile launch imminent. Oh. Okay. Why did we build a nuke do I silo? Do? I don't know. You think I know anything? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is there a refrigerator around? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You're kidding me. Hi, <laughs> boy. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing. Oh, guys, I died. <laughs> I was like, oh, the guys are gonna get a kick out of this. For my guy, I, I think this guy is like six five and about three feet wide at the shoulders. Right. <laughs> Three feet wide. <laughs> Looks like you can play linebacker for the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> Some people and... have headgear. Some people have glasses. Susie could play linebacker for the Raiders. <laughs> Everybody is different. No two people, no two people are, are not, not on, on fire. fire. <laughs> What? Have a nice day. Yeah. What? It's over. We. What did we even do? Zahidi, a key. You got any ideas where we might hide some keys? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That is a hideous looking weapon. Oh, oh guys. Did you see what I got? The guillotine. No, hang on. The guillotine. It's Can a pump action shotgun. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's amazing. Oh, oh. Wait, 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 wait. I like yours. Wait, wait, wait. Find the heavens, bro. This is that's amazing. <laughs> I feel like somebody made a pact with an elder deity <laughs> to make this gun, and it was not a nice deity. <laughs> you. Oh, I am absolutely keeping this gun. Flesh for the flesh, God. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, this is something out of Warhammer. This is, yeah, that's something straight out of the chaos, the chaos oh, yeah. Warhammer. Yeah.